Hi everyone, so why do my kitchen or basin taps keep coming loose? And I mean the mixer ones with a hand and winnow. It's always been a problem. Why is that? Well I can tell you it's mainly because of these things here. This is the thing that tightens your tap up underneath your sink, whether it be the wash basin or the kitchen sink. Now, I've got a tap here, an old one. This is the base of a tap, okay, with its flexes attached. Now, if you look around this side, you can see this one's got two bolts that go through, and it has a horseshoe around there, and that locks it and stops it from moving around. It's far better to have two bolts, whereas a lot of the cheapy ones come with just one, okay, to hold the horseshoe, the horseshoe up. Let me show you the horseshoe. This is the horseshoe, this is the item I'm on about, and you can see that the bolt goes through there like that. It has a screw at the bottom, and you kind of tighten it up to the top. It, you'll have a, what's a rubber washer around there, okay, and uh, you just tighten it up, you know, that usually goes at the bottom of it, okay, to lock up onto it afterwards, and then you can use a spanner to lock the thing up. And it won't be a spanner, it won't be a spanner, it will be a box spanner. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a link to fitting taps and using one of the box spanners, all right, to tighten these up. But of course, as I say, at the end of the day, you get a, a nice square to put your long box spanner so it gets up behind the sink to do it up. But you've only got one bolt, so it's something to look out for when buying new taps. Maybe get them out of the box or take them off the stand. They never show you underneath them, do they? They don't actually show the hoses or connect them, whether they're flexes or solid copper pipes. But take a look and see whether it's just got a one hole fix or whether it's got the two hole, which is on this one here. If you've got two hole, no problem. You do up those two bolts exactly the same. This one's slightly different, but they're same thing. There's the nut, and you do up the two nuts, and it's less likely to move. When you've got two bolts holding it down, that's going to stay pretty solid. But unfortunately, these things, even though they do a, a rubber washer the same, horseshoe shapes, and that goes under the sink, and it obviously bolts up and tries to grip it. After a little while, especially if you've got kids swinging around, you know, the tap becomes loose in the actual basin or sink. So just something to look out for. And if you've got that, you know, do, do bear in mind that they often come loose simply because that one bolt is just not good enough, really. Two bolts is always best. OK, that's about it, though, for that one. Keep your taps tight, and I'll give a link to uh, actually fitting one of these things and how awkward it is uh, on doing uh, taps when you're renewing them. So that's on the description somewhere up above. It will pop up. OK, other than that, that's it. All my stuff, usual place. Derek from 33. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.